guys, it's Sandy. I'm gonna show you how to make a frozen freezer treat that's actually good for you. So these are really yummy. You're using bananas as your ice cream, and then you've got peanut butter and chocolate and peanuts on it. It's got that crunch and the creamy. It's really good. Let me show you how to do it. You will need a muffin pan. I have silicone, so they just pop right out. Um, I already ate one because they're just so good, I wanted to. But if you don't have something silicone, you can just use the baking cups, the, pl the paper ones, and they can pop out of that. So let me show you how to make this sweet treat. It comes together in just a few minutes. So you take one banana and just start slicing it so that you can evenly divide it among however many muffin tins that you're going to use. Now, I started putting the banana in the bottom, but I will tell you how I will do it from now on is I'll put just a little bit of chocolate right on the bottom so it has a base, and then I will put the banana. I did um, wanna show you that I used a very ripe banana because it just makes it a little sweeter, but it also tastes more like banana. So if you don't like that, don't use a really sweet banana. Now, just start um, pressing it down in, so you're just smashing it, because whenever bananas freeze, they become like um, ice cream. They just become really, really creamy. Then you're gonna put a dollop of peanut butter onto every one. If I had wet my fingers before this, it wouldn't have stuck to my fingers so much. Spread the peanut butter out, and then make sure you have a good layer so that you've got a good layer of banana and peanut butter. Next, just take some chocolate that I melted in the microwave. I put um, just a few bars of the dark chocolate in because I prefer dark chocolate. And I put in one teaspoon of coconut oil, oil into it also. So I just melted that in the microwave, and I'm going to top each of these with enough um, chocolate that it covers them completely. So I just had to kind of move it around so that it really um, put in a good layer. And like I said before, I would have put a layer on the bottom also next time because then you'll have that layer on the uh, crunch on the bottom also. So this part is completely optional if you want to or not. I just took a little bit of honey and just drizzled over the top. It did just add a little bit of sweetness, but also a little bit of crunch whenever it froze, but you do not have to use any honey. Next, I took a handful of peanuts and just crushed it with my hand um, just into little bits. And then I sprinkled those all over the top so that it has that creamy layer, the peanut butter layer, a crunchy layer of nuts and the chocolate. And it just makes such a good frozen treat. Stick it in the freezer until it is completely frozen. Don't get them out or they'll be too soft. And then this is what it looks like, tastes like. Um, if I'd put the chocolate on the bottom, then, you know, it would have that layer on the bottom, which I'll do from now on, but it's really good. It was just a really creamy um, treat. I love uh, peanut butter and banana and chocolate together anyway. Okay, I hope you like this. Try it, and until next time, I'm out.